Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Carol Reed, Amos Green's final repose. We're checking out his second house. Amos had two houses. This is house number two. So can I go inside? I can. Yay. Are there puzzles for me to solve here? Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly so. Oh. Okay, so here's a message from the West Side Baptist Church. I believe we're going to meet up with them. Okay, so... This was from 1999. So over 20 years ago, uh, they were kind of mad about his complaints. His complaining about the Old Testament. He just complained too much for them. And then here is a complaint from Amos about his AA sponsor, Stina's mother. Stina's mother again. So she got mad because he tried to buy a ticket. A really, really cheap ticket. Remember, we saw that cheap, cheap ticket for this cruise, that way he could buy a lot of wine and alcohol, but his AA sponsor interfered and stopped him from going there. And that made him quite upset. That made him quite upset. Okay, so we grab the stool from the kitchen and then we just use it here to get this key. It's a rusty key. I think that key is for a shed behind the house, but it doesn't work. Let's try this out. Maybe the key is too rusty. Yeah, so we are going to have a puzzle there. Okay, so we go back home. We are going to have to use soda for this. Soda, 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 soda. Right here. Maybe this wasn't so useless after all. So let's see, I think I mix it with the steel, steel ball, and I use the steel ball on it. Now we have a slightly less rusty key. Back to the second house. What will we find inside the dead man's shed? I don't know. This is like 30 years, 30, 20 years old. Okay, it's a letter from Britt Louis. It's from Stina's mother. Okay. Hopefully, Carol's going to keep this letter. Archie's just going to put it back down and not keep it. Like, you'd think she would have kept the letter so she could show it to Stina, right? Like, hi, Stina. I found a letter from your dead mother, and it's a letter that makes her look really good. It's a letter about her trying really hard with Alcoholics Anonymous and helping other people. I would like getting a, a letter along those lines. But Carol thinks Stina doesn't want to know about it. So she keeps it a secret. Okay, let's see this cassette player. Oh, now he's got a red and a blue drink. You've got so many drinks here, Jonas. I have it here. Uh, I couldn't find a smaller one. Do you have a job, Jonas? Or is your job just drinking all day long? <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's listen to the tape. Welcome to Amos Green's first sermon in the West Side Baptist Church. So we know where the church is. It's on the West Side, near the Jonglon. Hopefully somebody here will remember Amos. Oh wait, there's nobody here. <laughs> uh wrong thing. So this is a puzzle. 5, 9, 10. That's what those Roman numerals spell. 5, 9, 10. Fancy church indeed. Look how fancy. They've got a, a boat. Why? I don't know. So 5, 9, 10 is the code for this. And here in the bathroom it says 
For all things are possible with God. Mark 1027. And that's the code for this. 1027. And here's a note saying that City Baptist Church, that's where all the stuff is during the summer. So that's why nobody's at the church right now. It looks sort of like a museum just for exploration. It's not being used for uh, prayer and worship. Nope, just, just sort of for like museum purposes because during the summer, they operate out of the city near the Grandma Hole. Is that like a bar for detective grandmas? I don't know. Anyway, let's check out this church. It's the Centrum Kirken. Hi, I'm Cat Colson. What can I help you with? Hey, Cat, what's shaking, my man? I I gotta ask, Cat Carlson? Yes, we adopt cool-sounding names. It attracts younger people to the church. Oh man, so they give themselves cool names, that way everybody wants to join their church. Like, who would not want to be a member of the church with Cat Carlson? Okay, so uh, I need to ask about Amos Green. Who did not adopt a cool name, it sounds like. I remember Amos. He lived at Aurafield. Later, he became homeless and lived in tunnels and sheds. Oh, that poor fellow. So how did he first join your church? He became involved with the church while working at the Oxenburg power station. He helped with the installation of the large wooden pipe. Read this. Oh, that's a puzzle. I know this puzzle. So the, the church helped build this really, really long pipe. So Amos was kicked out of your church? I don't have the specific details on that. But he often voiced opinions that weren't too popular. Like in this article. It was 20 years ago, so... It... Let me see. Okay. The Ten Commandments are fantastic, but I don't like them, so we need to get rid of them. Thank you for sharing this information. Yeah, so as we found out, Amos just did not like the Ten Commandments. And that, that sort of caused problems with this church, because he's like, Hey, let's get rid of them! And they're like, mm, Maybe not. I don't know about that. So here we're just going to crawl along the pipe until we reach this area here. And there are numbers on it. So six, four... Seven. Nothing. <laughs> Six, four, seven, three is the code. So that will open up the thing inside his house. Yeah, he based the code off his pipe that he was working on. So let's see. Was it the second house? I think it was the second house. Could be wrong. Hopefully I'm not wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. Yeah, this is it. Okay, six, four, seven, three. So we get his old cell phone. And this is a paper. Uh, these are the Ten Commandments he made up. He, he wanted these Ten Commandments instead of the ones that are in the Bible. Uh, looks like God is nowhere mentioned in the Ten Commandments. That's probably why the uh, religious people didn't like that. Yeah. Okay. And we get a message from Cat Carlson. Hey, Cat! Cool cat. How did you get my phone number, Cat? Okay, so Amos, uh, we know that Amos lived with the bee after he left this area. He lived with the bee for a while, and then he became homeless. Okay, oh wait, he didn't quite become homeless. He, he went inside this small house. Ah, okay, and uh, a military bunker. So we know where Amos, Amos lived, when, where he usually hung out while he was homeless. Usually hung out near that bunker. Okay, that's that's good information to have. 
we can explore the bunker. I'm going to put that off. I'm not going to explore the bunker right now. Instead, I'm going to go to Jonas. Jonas, you're my tech guy. Can you help me charge this old phone? Please. I have to find the fossil cable to do that. Meet me here later. Okay, sounds good. Oh, and hey, guess what? We just got a message from Gunnar. So I guess we're going to do uh, a puzzle with Gunnar while we wait for Jonas to get that charging cable.